abiding in Christ. Do you ask, how am I to abide in Christ? In the same way as you received him at first. As ye have therefore received Jesus Christ the Lord, so walk ye in him. The just shall live by faith. You gave yourself to God to be his holy, to serve and obey him, and you should look to Christ as your saviour. You could not yourself atone for your sins or change your heart. But having given yourself to God, you believe that he, for Christ's sake, did all this for you. By faith you became Christ's, and by faith you are to grow up in him by giving and taking. You are to give all, your heart, your will, your service, Give yourself to him to obey all his requirements. And you must take all, Christ, the fullness of all blessing, to abide in your heart, to be your strength, your righteousness, your everlasting helper, to give you power to obey. Consecrate yourself to God in the morning. Make this your very first work. Let your prayer be, take me, O Lord, as wholly thine. I lay all my plans at thy feet. Use me today in thy service. Abide with me, and let my, all my work be wrought in thee. This is a daily matter. Each morning, consecrate yourself to God for that day. Surrender all your plans to him. To be carried out or given up, as his providence shall indicate. Thus, day by day, you may be giving your life into the hands of God, and thus your life will be moulded more and more after the life of Christ. A life in Christ is a life of restfulness. There may be no ecstasy of feeling, but there should be an abiding peaceful trust. Your hope is not in yourself, it is in Christ. Your weakness is united to his strength, your ignorance to his wisdom, your frailty to his enduring might. So you are not to look at yourself, not to let your mind dwell upon self, but look to Christ. Let the mind dwell upon his love, upon his beauty, the perfection of his character. Christ in his self-denial, Christ in his humiliation, Christ in his purity and holiness, Christ in his matchless love. This is the subject for the soul's contemplation. It is by loving him, copying him, depending wholly upon him, that you are to be transformed into his likeness. Jesus says, Abide in me. These words convey the idea of rest, stability, confidence. Again he invites, Come unto me, and I will give you rest. The words of the psalmist express the same thought. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Isaiah gives the assurance, In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. This rest is not found in inactivity. For in the Saviour's invitation, the promise of rest is united with the call to labour. Take my yoke upon you, and ye shall find rest. The heart that rests most fully upon Christ will be most earnest and active in labour for him. When the mind dwells upon self, it is turned away from Christ, the source of strength and life. Hence. It is Satan's constant effort 
to keep the attention diverted from the Saviour and thus prevent the union and communion of the soul with Christ. The pleasures of this world, life's cares and perplexities and sorrows, the faults of others, or your own faults and imperfections. To any or all of these, he will seek to divert the mind. Do not be misled by his devices. Many who are really conscientious and who desire to live for God, he too often leads to dwell upon their own faults and weaknesses, and thus separating them from Christ he hopes to gain the victory. We should not make self the centre and indulge anxiety and fear as to whatever we shall be saved. All this turns the soul away from the source of our strength. Commit the keeping of your soul to God and trust in Him. Talk and think of Jesus. Let self be lost in Him. Put away all doubt. Dismiss your fears. Say with the Apostle Paul, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Rest in God. He is able to keep that which you have committed to him. If you will leave yourself in his hand, he will bring you off more than conqueror through him that has loved you. Abide in Christ forever. Amen.